and Dale. What what's your sense from guys um, that have been in the program? I know this is a whole new playbook for everybody, and, and obviously you. Um, but from how they talk about just learning this offense, like is, are they are they picking it up really easy? Is it kind of difficult? I guess from the guys that have been around and you know that are making the transition. Um, I mean, I definitely think it's just a diff- It's different for everybody. Um, a lot of guys that are older, it's a little bit easier for them to get into a playbook, just knowing what they have to learn and how to learn learn a playbook. Um, with the younger guys, that's kind of what I've tried to help with, help them with, is learning a playbook. And me coming from my other school, having to learn a lot of different positions and being able to learn a full playbook, um, I just try to help them with that too. Um, but everybody's different, so it takes time. But for the most part, everybody's getting the offense really, really well. Um, and our coaches are doing a really good job of installing it, too. John Hale. I know we've heard some really good things from your teammates just about how you've been playing. I think Josh Pascal called you the truth out there. I'm just curious, how do you evaluate what you've done this spring and how, how good do you feel heading into the summer? Um, I mean, I feel really, really good going into the summer. But, I mean, at the end of the day, I just wanted to come in and work and do my job and um, just show everybody that I wasn't here just to play around and do do things that – Others might think um, somebody might come in and do just being a transfer and a high transfer and things like that. So I just wanted to come in and just wanted them to treat me like all the other guys, and I wanted to work like everybody else um, and earn my spot. I didn't want anything given. So. Nick Roush. Nick, we can't really hear you. But how, how do you think the offense played today? Oh, the offense, I think we played, we were re- played really well today. Um, I think our first couple drives were some touchdowns, and um, it just felt really good to see our offense in a real game atmosphere, and it was very encouraging. We were on the sidelines. We were just kind of like, this can, be, this can be really, really good, especially going into the season. So um, we're all like, really excited about it. Um, yeah, there's been talk about using me in return game, both punt and kick. Um, but yeah, it's a really big thing in my development. I mean, a lot of the scouts and things, they just want to see me run routes and things like that. I've done a lot of the gadget things at my previous school. Um, so now it's really big on my development just to be able to do all those things from the inside, the outside. And the coaches have done a really good job, and I've tried to do everything I can to make that job easier on them. John Wong. Uh, as media members, we haven't seen any of the practices yet, but Coach Suit said that he was going to open it up to us on Tuesday. We're pretty excited. What should we be looking for? And give me some of uh, your suggestions of who I should be watching. Um, I mean, I think you should be watching for everybody. Um, in our receiver room, um, Rasan Lewis, he's been making a couple plays. He made a, a spectacular catch today. Um, but, I mean, everybody, I think you're just going to be excited to see what the offense kind of looks like and what – that looks like out there on the field. And you included, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to put anything on myself, but, I mean, if you decide to look at me, it's all right. <laughs> Josh Moore? Well, now I'm curious. You talked about scoring a couple touchdowns today, and I assume that's, you know, you know, I would hope that's happening for you guys frequently. But uh, is it coming? Red zone execution was a big problem for this team last year is that is, is more of that coming in, in the red zone are you seeing that kind of working well or is it more of kind of like the long bombs you know kind of just you know not really worrying about the red zone because you're, you're scoring so fast um I mean it was a little bit of both um we've had a we've had some big plays long touchdowns um we've scored in the red zone we've been able to run the ball really well which helps a lot in the red zone so we I mean everything that we've put in has really been clicking and working so um, we just continue. We just have to continue to work hard and whatever they throw at us and to execute. John Hale. Coach Cohen has talked about what they did with the Rams with Cooper Cup and maybe you filling a similar role. I'm curious, how much of film of, of that particular did you watch, and just what excites you about what they can do with you in this offense? Um, that was really about all I did watch. I watched Cooper Cup, watched all the routes that he ran. 
Um, and so that's what really excited me and all the catches that he was able to get and all the space that they put him in. Um, so that just really excited me about what I could do in this offense and being able to play like in the similar position that he did. And so um, that's just really good to know. You and Carrington are just two of a dozen or more uh, guys that worked out at Aspirations in, in Louisville and then went on to play D1 football. How connected are you to the other guys? And is there anything in particular in the water there that has all these guys playing at the next level? It's Chris, uh, the trainer, the one that owns Aspirations. It's more of a mindset thing um, when you're working out with him. He'll The technical stuff, he'll get you right with that. But that mindset that you're going to have going into college and while you're playing and everything like that, that's what really he installs in you to make you a better football player. So. Okay, last question, Lonnie Demery. Yeah, Wanda, uh, I wanted to ask you a, a question about well, the fact that I was at your uh, press conference. It appears to me, and maybe I'm just seeing things, but it appears to me that you uh, had a lot of physical development. How would you gauge your physical development from that point to this point right now? Um, now I'd probably say I'm a little bit leaner. Uh, I'm still around 180. Um, I feel a lot faster than I did um, my, pre my two previous years in college, um, which that's a big shout out to our strength and conditioning staff. Um, so just, and I feel a lot stronger too. Um, so just my physical build and everything like that, I felt a lot better just since being here, so. All right, thanks Wondell. We'll have Carrington Valentine here in just a second. All right, thank you.